Start in mm-hmm. Slim Jim then. Okay, then give me a fucking. <laughs> me when you took my fucking car to get that. Give me a goddamn hot Cheeto or you owe me six dollars in gas. <laughs> I'm gonna be so fucking mean to you. <laughs> <laughs> fucking bitch. What the fuck? Sorry, I don't care. <laughs> We haven't La- said anything because you want to La start. La Toxica. There, I said <laughs> You're it. You're literally immediately gaslighting me. <laughs> That's not gaslighting. That was toxic. No, what was toxic is you like You're putting the bag in. You're gaslighting Drew. Yeah. Oh, the two white ugliest oh, men go. on here earth are trying here to gaslight me on camera. What's sad is that like not only are y'all white, but you're ugly and white. Like y'all didn't even get like. Y'all got a double hit from God. <laughs> <laughs> you mad. You mad. You mad. <laughs> Welcome to this episode of Emergency Intercom. I have wet jeans because I went out <laughs> in the rain and they go over the bottom of my shoe. It's the best day ever because it's raining out. Rained all day today. It was magical. I don't think I've ever gotten as much work done in my entire life than I did today. You completed one task. No, I edited an entire video, filmed a brand deal, and now I'm doing a podcast. <laughs> so two life. tasks. <laughs> like you can't separate the video and the brand deal because the brand deal was for the I, video. I also <laughs> went and bought Slim Jim. Went out and got a Slim Jim and You went out and got Cheetos. some lunch. Mm-hmm. Um, also, uh, this is not my first meal oh, of the fuck. day. Do not let Inya lie to you, people. What was your first meal? My I had In and Out. Mm. <laughs> I had a cheeseburger from In and Out. A cheeseburger. <laughs> I just spilled coffee all over the floor, by the way. You better clean it because Azul's going to get it and get caffeine poisoning. That's not how that works. Um, well, let's just get into this episode. Yeah. Um, okay, the first thing I want to talk about is how sexy i actually have become oh my god and it's not a joke anymore (laughs) because it's leaking into my real life it's not just imaginary comments online it's not people just commenting drew you're so sexy which i appreciate i appreciate all the comments telling me how fucking sexy hot i am because it does fuel me and it does make me feel good about myself and it does make me want to take care of myself that's usually what compliments do um but it's leaking into my real life. So listen to this. Let me paint the scene. Enya. Also, gesture. wait. Before this goes, I just want to say, you like fully ignore the fact that people see you and they go, oh, um, you look rugged now. And then they go into complimenting, but, but it's usually like they get taken off guard. Rugged, rugged is sexy to me. I guess. Yeah, no. I, bring back manly men. <laughs> like, I've been saying it the entire time. Um, one person said that to me. And then I got kissed on the cheek because I had a beard at that party. So let's not ignore that. Let's not ignore that. But it's leaking into my real life. Um, So let me paint the scene for you. It's Inya, Elsie, Elisa, and Jester. Um, They go out, have like a nice little din-din together. They they treat themselves. They they have a casual conversation. I don't know what, what went on at the dinner because I wasn't invited. Um, because you're not a girl, bitch. Okay. How do you know that? Because you literally just said, bring back menly men and I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. Um, so yeah, they, they come home. I shower, I bathe, I do my thing. I get ready for None bed. None of this has to do with the story. <laughs> it does. It does. I'm painting a scene. And so like my body is glistening. Um, it is not. It's glistening. I'm in my bedroom in bed and I put on my gray sweatpants um, because I'm like, oh, I want to sleep in my sweatpants tonight. Yeah. Um, And I'm not wearing a shirt. I'm not wearing a shirt. Um, Okay. 
So they get home and I hear them chatting it up. And then I'm like, oh, like, I want to go hear the conversation. I'm going to go say what's up because I didn't say hi to everybody before they left. You hear me in the kitchen talking shit about. Oh, we'll get into that. Saying the same shit. We'll get oh, into that. I'm not talking about that. I mean, we'll like, the conversation that, no. he actually walked in was literally a conversation I had three times that week. Yeah, literally. Um, but we, they're all chatting in the kitchen. And so I'm like, oh, I'm going to go say what's up. So I walk into the kitchen um and i'm shirtless in my gray sweatpants and everybody in the kitchen takes a look at me they look me up and down and i'm not kidding elisa Um, do you care about your job i don't give a fuck about my job i don't give does kai care about his job because he hasn't said anything about it so maybe you're (laughs) the only one hearing it i was Um, waiting for you to finish your gray sweatpants story um okay so i walk in and ev- the room falls silent. It's actually crazy. The room falls silent. Everybody's head whips to me. And they see my <laughs> Which glistening... Which is what happens when a, a person enters uh, My room. glistening, toned body. My, toned. like, freshly groomed <laughs> like body tone? hair. Like, I look good. I look sexy. I look hot. Like, I'm serving. And Elisa's, like, almost, like, caught off guard by how sexy I am. And she's, like, in mid-conversation, she, she's, like... Drew, you look good. You look really good right now. And then Jester, they're like, what, is, what does Jester say? What do they say? They they jokingly turn their head and they go, I've never seen this side of you. They, they've they never seen this side of me. <laughs> Which that could mean a lot of things. Elsie stays silent. She doesn't have anything to say, but she does <laughs> look at me up and down. <laughs> and <laughs> I, like, also, I said like, you, okay, keep going. I'm not saying that I was gray sweatpants challenging because I don't know if that was the case. We but... cannot see your bulge, no, if that's what you're asking. Okay, I was going to say. Your bulge my... is not big enough to slice. My bulge, gray. let me tell you about my bulge, ladies and gentlemen. It is perfect. Your bulge is not bulging, though. I have a perfect bulge. <laughs> um, But yeah, I'm sexy and it's leaking into my real life. And see. It's not a scene. It's the real. It's real. <laughs> so okay, what I'm gathering from this is you, um, you are coming into the age where people are giving you compliments to your face, and you have no idea how to act. Yeah, because I literally have a job where I speak for an hour and I have to fill it. So, if people call me sexy, I'm going to tell the world. <laughs> Romil. <laughs> <laughs> are you just gonna name off everyone who's called you sexy recently? Because the list those is are, pretty short. <laughs> those are the four. Those are the four people. I was saving this because this is something I've needed to say publicly for a long time, um, and I didn't want to say it in the first like four minutes of the podcast because I didn't want us to get demonetized again. Um, but I think I'm gonna like pursue this goal of mine. It's usually like when I think about my future, I have a hard time, like visualizing what goals I really need to hit. And I think one of them that I'm I'm really considering is I think I want to be the first woman to put someone in the hospital via head. Oh. Um, so <laughs> I am working on that. Um, huh. it, I feel like it like it, it might not be as challenging as I think, but I do want to like just prep for it and like you could prep on me. No, you're my victim. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> OK, <laughs> I'm down. You're the victim. You know, I'm down. But yeah, also the way I thought about that job is, um, I mean, the way I thought about that joke is literally we were standing on the sidewalk and Mason mentioned seeing Johnny Knoxville and I said that um, I want to give him such vicious head that it puts his old oh, ass in the hospital. <laughs> and I mean it. Okay, I'm, I'm done. I'm done sexualizing Johnny Knoxville because I don't actually want to have sex with him. I do want a selfie with him. So it's so a pretty Mr. big... Mr. Knoxville. It's a pretty big jump back from giving head and putting him in a hospital but really all I want is a selfie you just have to shoot high it's like when you're bribing someone you have to shoot really high because you know they'll take it down to the number you actually want and that's mm-hmm. what I'm doing with Johnny Knoxville yeah um set your expectations low but also high so yeah. when they don't reach your expectations they're already low yeah so it's like whichever one I get I'm getting something yeah, good exactly um do you, would you like to read some of your notes that you've been saving because you've come up to me all week and uh, you are about to say something and then you take it back? Yeah. Well, I almost killed a dog. <laughs> I fully almost killed Today? a dog. Today? No, at Target. 
<laughs> yeah, literally, I almost killed a dog at Target. Um, I was grabbing LaCroix, which literally every fucking person who came over last night drank like six of my fucking LaCroix, drank half of them, left them out to rot, and now I have no more LaCroix. And I bought those for me and only me and everybody drank That's them. how I feel about my groceries all the time. But, you know, I don't say anything about it because I'm a gracious woman and it's my job to be a caregiver to some extent. And I just care for my friends and I don't I'm complain give about... I fuck about my friends when they <laughs> drink my LaCroix. But granted, they did really like the blossom, cherry blossom flavor. And oh, so they were killing that fat. Yeah, which I fucking hate it. And it's literally the most rancid flavor I've ever tasted in my life. And it tastes like fucking chocolate and dog food. Um... <laughs> But I'm dog glad food tastes good. I ate that like crazy as a kid. This is literally dog food. Like this and is what dog food so tastes good. like. This is what dog food tastes like. <laughs> Let me get another bite of that. Um, but yeah, you're almost literally. Yeah, so I was grabbing the Lacroix, <laughs> and there was this like little rat dog running around <laughs> on the ground. This little ankle biter, the one with the teeth that like stick out of the side, and like the really fucking disgusting ass mangy fur. <laughs> Um, and he was running around at the bottom and the lady was also grabbing LaCroix and I was like, I was just going to grab one pack. I was just going to grab Pamplemousse. Like the, the tallest classic, thing in the, the world. The classic Pamplemousse flavor. Like, you know, you know, if you know LaCroix, you know. Um, I was going to grab that pack and then I saw I'm two trying. for seven, two full packs for $7 and I was like, I'm not passing up on that deal. You know <laughs> I'm getting, you know I'm getting that. So I grab, go to grab a second pack and I'm like, which pack am I going to grab? And then the cherry blossom catches my eye because I thought it would taste good, but I was very wrong. <laughs> and I go to grab it and it's like the highest one up and it's like on a stack of like three and I pull the top one off and like <laughs> they all start falling down and the dog is like had walked perfectly underneath where like these two cases of LaCroix would have like actually popped him like a fucking pimple. It would have fallen and exploded into like actual powder like it would have really mutilated this you would have literally eradicated him immediately it it was it would have been very bad but i'm a hero i'm a savior and (laughs) i have quick reflexes and i caught it before it It was actually like the slowest like movement ever it's not like it actually started falling it was just like Drew went to go move the case and like saw that it would fall if he grabbed it the way he was going to grab it and then Um, we looked down our house is on fire no, it's just so cold out. The neighbor downstairs is drying clothes. and Yeah, you'll be saying that when we're burning alive on camera. <laughs> we're we're going to release this episode on Patreon. See us die on camera. <laughs> Burn alive on camera. Um, but I, It's fucked up how funny I thought that was. We were literally laughing in front of the owner. And she had no idea how hard we were laughing at that. like Because she didn't notice what ha- had happened. And we walked away. And I was laughing so fucking yeah. hard at that target because the idea that Drew would have literally... I, like, if I would have killed that dog, I would have actually never recovered. Like, <laughs> I don't think I could have ever recovered from that. I truly could have. We also Honestly, then almost... I would have forgotten about it in, like, eight hours. <laughs> like, if I'm being honest, I'm a killer. We also then almost saw a dog get hit by a fucking car. So, ladies and gentlemen, keep your dogs away from us because yeah. we're giving bad we vibes have to dogs omens. recently. We have dog omens. Bring them around us and they will... Pass Almost away. experience death. Not fully experience it. Give them, stress them out a little bit. Stress them out a little bit about death. Um, oh, this is a good one. I'm going to mine. I have a really good one loaded up. <clears throat> sorry, sorry. Okay, you can go. Um, okay. Back to life. So I thought about it. Um, I was thinking about like, my dead brother, my brother who's dead. Why would you even think about that? Because it's like a sad thing. No, but that's what I'm saying. Like, it's just like, it's why, already why, done. Why like, think a sad what? thing? Just move on. <laughs> and my brother was always first in line to get my dad's like Rolex that he got from his father who he got from his father. So it's like a generational, like, it's like your bracelet. And I was like, ah! I'm gonna get the Rolex now. Oh I'm gonna get the Rolex. <laughs> and I said, Don't you have two I, older brothers though? They're half. <laughs> and I will kill them for the Rolex. But I thought about it and I was like, that's mine now. <laughs> I thought the joke was gonna be that you were gonna kill your two older brothers. No, the the joke is that I'm celebrating that my brother died, so I get a Rolex. I mean, if I'm being honest, that's an even uh, trade off. Yeah, it's fair. 
That's fair. And then I thought about it even deeper, and I was like, the bloodline's going to end with me. <laughs> I'm killing off the family. <laughs> the family. That was your train of thought. I was like, oh, I get a Rolex, but I guess my bloodline does end. The Phillips. Tomorrow. The Phillips family ends with me. Tomorrow. No, no, no. No, it, it's going to end tomorrow, because if it's ending with you, you're gone tomorrow. Why? I don't know. I just have a feeling. You have a hunch. The other day when we were leaving the house, okay, I've talked about this before, but if you're a newer viewer, I have very intense paranoia about locking doors behind me. Like, I'm always convinced I didn't lock a door. Like, it's actually debilitating borderline because it's I have to worst. wiggle. I have to wiggle. And I have to troll. And I have to troll back. I know. Drew isn't, like, good at handling it. He, like, decides to, like, like... Terrorize. To terrorize me because she's like, Drew, is the door locked? Can you check to make sure I lock the door? I'm like, yeah, sure. And then I, I go and check, and I'm like, yeah, you left it unlocked, but we should just go anyways. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, Drew, no, I'm, it's not a, it's not a joke. What's fucked Drew. up is like, obviously now I can laugh about it, but like when it's happening, it actually freaks me out because it I really believe is it. Scary. Like it is like a deep paranoia for some reason that I, I, I like know you're joking. But I, part of me believes it. And it's like actually really crazy how what my brain does to me. <laughs> but um, the other day I was locking the door, which makes it worse. Like when we're leaving the house, if we're leaving out the front, like we're going out at night, I like when you lock the door because if I lock the door, I will stand there and like yourself. lock it and don't believe myself. And I'll have to wiggle the handle and I'll lock it and wiggle the handle and you go to walk away. You still do that after and, I lock it. I did do that the other night. But that's because you said something scary to me. He literally, after I, he locked the door, I locked the door. I don't remember. I was like, I was like, did I lock it? Am I locking this? And he goes, it doesn't matter because I have a feeling we're going to get broken into tonight anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like. <laughs> but I, I genuinely did. I was like, and I was, I was like, sitting at my desk. don't fucking say that. And I was like, I'm getting an ominous vibe. Something bad is going to happen tonight. And I have a feeling it's going to be a home invasion. And I was like, don't even bother locking the door because they're just going to break in. Like, it doesn't matter. That is so weird because I had a very visceral dream last night that my house was broken into. Really? Yeah. Ooh. Y'all are putting bad fucking energy into the air. Hi, we're like. Yeah, connected. We're connected. We're connected or something. Yeah. Sorry. I just didn't want to move closer. Freak. Um, but yeah, Drew did that to me the other night and it literally terrorized me. And when we were in the Uber, it's all I could think about for like 15 minutes. And I had to like just change the subject in my head because I was like, I am not going to be able to think any other thought tonight. Well, the house was not broken into. And then the uh, the other night when we went out right after, I he locked the door and I went to go check in. He was like, Oh, you don't have to worry because I don't I don't think we're going to get broken into tonight. <laughs> and I was like that's not how this works. Uh, it is. Exactly how it works. I had a I guess little surprise for the 39th episode. Oh, 39th episode is this surprise. Is the 39th episode? Yeah. What's that's the this. surprise? Um, I was the guy that broke in to your right. apartment. Anyways. Okay. <laughs> Stop. There's going to be <laughs> Oh, fuck. What the fuck? <laughs> Drew, stop. I'm serious. Oh, my God. I'm fucking bleeding. Good. Don't get it on the fucking mic. We have to use I'm that not, for, we have to use that for to actual guests. Crazy. You're not crazy. That was, that was, you were valid. It that. was valid. Yeah. You're valid as such. Drew, thank you for putting me in my place. You're welcome. And why did you not say sir? Sir. Okay. Can you, are you going to apologize to him? I'm sorry. And I'm sorry. Sorry to what? Also. Sorry what? I'm sorry that I broke into your house and I shaved my pubes in your house. No, oh my I God. fucked up your trust and sense of security forever. And then, and yes. sir, apology kind of accepted. Oh my God. I'll let you bask in the maybe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> bask in the maybe. Yeah. Um, I'll let you fester in that. Also, maybe. I decided something else we need more thirst traps of me um it's true it's we ju true. we just need more thirst traps of me like i miss being sexualized i'm just like not sexualized as much anymore i will and I give think you a contribute thank you i'm not kidding i need one like when's the last time someone came on a picture of me like we need to talk about it Let's, Say, okay actually let me not saying, entice that because saying that is, that is you're gonna get a lot which yeah. is kind of a vibe uh, no, because wanted. like actually, it, it like. Where's my cum tributes? I know there's someone out there who I've has given you to a give me a snail trail tribute. No, I want a snail trail tribute, <laughs> and I want a cum tribute immediately next. Would you week. take a discharge <sighs> tribute? Um, absolutely. I will take okay, a yeah. bodily any bodily fluid 
A like, spit tribute? A spit tribute, uh, a shit tribute, literally anything. Someone shit on a photo of me. I really, <laughs> I unironically need to see that. I don't have a shit kink. <laughs> <laughs> piss on a photo. Who no, the fuck but, is this? But the piss could be anything. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, I got a text too. I literally have no idea who that is. Do you have the number saved? Oh, it's literally Devin. Wait, but why? I, did she get a new number? She got two phones. One for the cases, one for the hoes. Uh, yeah. Did you get it? Because mm -hmm. her, uh, her job. Wildfire cases. Yeah. We love Devin Lee Carlson. Live, laugh, love. Devin Lee Carlson. <laughs> <laughs> what? Kai, what's wrong with you? We literally brought up one of the most gorgeous women in the world, and now you don't ha know how to fucking act? No, I didn't. No, I thought Drew was going to bring up something, but... We'll spare you. Okay. Thanks. We'll spare you. Although this is very open-ended, and we'll leave a lot of questions to the viewers. And we're not cutting it out. I haven't cried in two years. That is just not true. <laughs> Drew the other day seriously said <laughs> Yeah, you just gave a laugh. He seriously came up to me in the kitchen and I was watching a Britney and Sarah video and he saw them like laughing and he just goes, I just wish I could laugh like that. <laughs> like, I just wish I knew how to no, laugh. No, I mean, they like <laughs> laugh at everything and it's like infectious. Like when I... I laugh. It's not infectious. <laughs> yes, it is. It's overwhelming, and I don't laugh at everything. I like. I just. I get lost in my own brain, and I'm like thinking <laughs> of the next thing to say. That's literally everybody with attention issues who's also a comedian. So that's everyone in our group. Brittany and Sarah, I need training. Everybody in our group in a room is a nightmare. That is the description of hell. How yeah. loud a room gets when our whole group walks in is disgusting. I have to. I literally have to leave. Are like the living room like three or four times like During every time chill. everybody's over because it's so loud and it's always the next person's like trying to get the big best joke in the next laugh in and like sometimes I just cannot participate and I freak the fuck out and I have to just go lay in my bed and be on my iPhone where it's quiet for like literally five minutes and then I make my way back in here when I hear Will Smith is getting his ass or beating Chris Rock's ass on stage I can't believe you missed that with the whole group isn't that embarrassing Kai like we had like such yeah. a group moment of I all I actually like, got a photo that. of as it was happening did we, you actually yeah of everyone's face well I, I was I on was the on the I was in that photo oh well wasn't that when it was happening? No, it was after I ca I came in when you were taking the photos. When oh, everybody, really? I was so I was in all the photo evidence. So I could sit here and say, actually, I was there. But you weren't. Um, yesterday was the first time in a long time I actually did feel overwhelmed by how loud it got because I had to like connect the laptop to the TV, and someone kept I like someone kept saying something to me and i was like i'm actually gonna freak out if you repeat it but i think it might have been kai but i don't remember what or it was like something kai or christian was saying one of you like one what? of the really white men in the room was like saying a lot to me and i was like i'm gonna freak it wasn't out. me because i, I was not I said, in the room <laughs> i don't think it was me it couldn't have been me it probably it probably is you no i actually wasn't in the room when it was getting hooked up um but yeah um i was working <laughs> i was grinding you sound like someone lying I was about grinder. an alibi i was grindering grindering yeah it's like working hard no you're like grindering like insinuates you were on the app grinder i don't even know what that is <laughs> <laughs> like don't even what is that you just got like 14 notifications from I know, your phone is literally blowing the up. Podcast. It's vibrating so hard it's about to explode. What are, I don't even literally know what y'all are even talking about. I don't know what grinder is. Grinder is probably You're looking up the sound right now. Like, yeah, let's just, like, ruin the bit. <laughs> like, let's just, like, really ruin You're the bit. It's taking so long. Oh, let me mute this. <laughs> how do you mute a phone? How do you mute a phone? <laughs> you don't know how to mute a phone? 
<laughs> that was insane how long it took you to get to that. Like, <laughs> fuck, fuck both of y'all. I'm just, I've literally and just been literally constantly attacked. I'm a like, punching bag for everybody always. Everybody just <laughs> picks me up. By you my literally feet started this by ground. saying like you're getting too many compliments and they're leaking into <laughs> real life, and now you're trying to explain that you are being attacked. I was Pick a side, literally bitch. just attacked. Everybody was I not just attacked. You're going to hell. Did you know that? I'm going to kill you. I'm also, kill you. <laughs> um, the oh. turn that thing off. You're a slut. That, that's the thing about you is like. A, I, I am a slut. Yep. And you think that's okay. I'm horny. But you ran through. I got to. I literally have to get it out. <laughs> I, if I don't let it out, it starts to hurt. You're literally so ran through and you're actually going to hell. <laughs> And it's going to be sad because I wish my friend could go to heaven with me, but they're going to hell because you're a fucking slut. God turning away Drew because he's too ran through. No, he's literally. I, am, literally, <laughs> I, I actually am ran through as fuck. <laughs> like, I'm not even exaggerating. I'm ran through. But like, not by like what you would expect. <laughs> I have, Don't touch me. I have electric feel. Last time I was a ran through, I was told. <laughs> Last time you were ran through? Yeah. Um, also, I decided that, like, the worst thing, anybody who is not in my core group of people... Oh, my God. You're, like, blowing up. <laughs> Are you going viral right now on Grindr? I'm literally going viral as fuck on Grindr. <laughs> <laughs> they found out you fucking ran through and they're hitting you up. I put my face on there for the first time in five years. Is it's your face not, not on there? Absolutely not. <laughs> Hell no. I would never do that. I don't even know what what you're even talking about. <laughs> then why were you so like sure that your face wasn't on it? It's just not. One day It's actually crazy how COVID is over. Like it's it's crazy how it has ended. No, I don't know anybody with COVID. No one knows anybody with COVID. It's just <laughs> over. It, well, I don't think it, just it was. Ended. I don't think it, it was, was real to begin with. No facts. The, they had to start it was a the war. Pandemic. It was a pandemic, and they started a war to get our attention off the COVID. Because because the government it's was all, over it. It's all. Fauci literally want like was like you know what I'm gonna quit. <laughs> like it's it's I'm so done. over that he's like I'm walking I'm away. I'm done. Um, but yeah, COVID's over. It's actually crazy. Um, and they planned a war. For the next year, though, there are going to be the people who are like, am I the only one who I know the mask mandate is lifted everywhere, but I refuse to go outside without a mask? <laughs> and I'm like, you're a pussy. <laughs> you're a loser. The thing is, I'm like, okay, I did my part. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Like, the world is ending. We're going into a war. Like, yeah. it's done. It's done. It's done. The, the economy is about to collapse. Like, let me live. Unironically, oh I God. want a gun. I want a gun so bad. We were talking about this last night and a friend of ours who it makes sense that they would have a gun because they have like extremely like intense valuables. So it's like, yeah, I guess like that makes sense. And then everyone in the room, it was a room of like three losers with like the most expensive thing they have is like their iPhone. Myself. <laughs> I'm protecting myself. No one wants to like harm you. Like, how no do you know that? <laughs> no if I had a gun, that would be one hundred percent true. <laughs> no, the thing is, is if I had a gun and like someone actually did re-break into the house, I wouldn't shoot them. I would probably shoot myself. I them. say this, Drew, all the time. I'd like, kill myself. Oh, <laughs> I say this, to Drew, all the time. Like, the, the murderer, the killer, would get to the gun before you and use your own. No, gun on because you. they you wouldn't would be know, one of those They people. wouldn't use it on me. I would accidentally shoot my foot or something. <laughs> And then he would be like, oh, I literally cannot rob this person because they actually are, like, lacking brain power. And they would just walk out. Like, walk right out. No, they're, if, if I'm assuming they came in to, like, steal things. So, like, if you're shot in the foot, they're probably just going to, like, keep it pushing. Yeah. And steal things. The good thing is that, like, uh, realistically, like, somebody who's coming in our house to steal things aren't going to steal the things we actually care about, which is, like, our stupid little, like, toys and things. Yeah. Because that's what I get They're going to take my about. computer, and I'm like, I don't give a fuck. You can have my computer. <laughs> yeah, like, I want my little, like, toys that are, like, one of none. I'm like, have the computer. I want my, like, silly little stinky zine I bought, like, three years ago that <laughs> exactly, I refuse to get rid of. Exactly, exactly. My stinky zine with water damage. <laughs> it's, the way, it's the way that I literally, like, have so much patriotism right now. 
what is happening over here? <laughs> like, you need to chill. I just love America. Um, that's brave. I'm just switching up. I'm switching the narrative. We need to go back to Republic. <laughs> <laughs> I said that yesterday. I was like, I'm going to be, I was like, I'm trend forecasting. Trump is going to be in in the next year. I'm going to be the and first influencer. And it was literally tre- trend forecasting <laughs> Trump saying like, I'm going to start standing Trump now because in three <laughs> years, it's going to be cool to stand Trump. And I'm like, you are like actually deranged and you have like real issues. I'm in your trend brain. forecasting Trump is going to slay the house boots. He literally Maga. is going to win the presidency again, unfortunately. And that's why we all have to get out there and vote. <laughs> You're trend forecasting the next vote. Mm-hmm. Don't vote for Trump. <laughs> I'm serious. You might be the first person to say that. <laughs> the thing is, when I say shit oh, like this, bitch. I'm like, I know someone's like going to be like, they're going to so clip funny. it and they're going to be like, it's not fucking funny. And I'm like, it, it literally, literally is. is. <laughs> like, it literally is funny to like play. Um, <laughs> It's the way that we saw the killer at the movie. Oh, stop! We actually saw the killer, and I just got chills. Like, I don't. When I have we it. told you about this guy? No, dude. It literally was actually so scary. So we went to see Worst Person in the World, which is oh, our fucking don't even get me top started. tier movie. It's best movie that I've seen this year. Yeah, for sure. literally, it's it's my media of the week. I know it's Drew's media of the week. Like mm-hmm. it is so fucking good. But we went together. We were supposed to go with Josh, but Josh fucking bailed on us because he doesn't fucking love us and he, he hates us and he actually does wants not us care to die. Um, I mean, sorry. he doesn't care about us and he literally bought me in and out and let me you edit on his computer <laughs> all day today. Um, but we were supposed to see it with him. He couldn't. Oh, are you kidding me? I barely moved the thing. How did you even hear that? Run that back. You heard how loud that was. I'm just gonna edit the sound so that. It's, it's gone. You're going to hell. Um, so you're trying so hard no, to like tickle I'm me. Not, you are so soft. Like actually, I'm not even saying. Are that. my legs soft? They're like nah. Yes, your hands are like really soft. Like <laughs> don't you want these hands on your body? I want them to touch my ass. Like they're actually really soft. You want me? No, to you're like touch your, I'm not your kidding. Number. I'm not kidding. Like if I close my eyes and you were like, are these mannequin hands or human <laughs> hands? I would literally say mannequin hands because they are so soft. Also, they feel like um, do you know Sophia the robot? <laughs> they feel like how I imagine Sophia the robot skin feels. <laughs> Kai, would you like a uh, touch? Um. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God! What is <laughs> wrong with you? Perv, <laughs> you want to touch in your soul bad? No, you guys don't understand how hard my life is because I can't touch anyone with my hands. <laughs> I will say the other day you rubbed your fucking palm sweat on my like leg, and it yes. actually was like the scariest thing ever. I I genuinely are so never fucking noticed. Sweaty now. I've genuinely never noticed. It. Is it a recent thing? Like you should you just get been Botox in your hands like a normal it's person. It's especially would. bad uh, in the last after week. hanging out around me because you're so nervous. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, you should get Botox in your hands. Yeah, that could be a good Patreon episode. <laughs> <laughs> Are you insinuating that we have to get you Botox? Well, yes. I'll pay for the bo- I genuinely like would consider paying for the Botox. How like, much would it be? I don't know. I, I, I'll Google it. Let's see. We'll go in for you. We'll yeah. go We'll go in on you, raw dog style. I wonder yeah, if I think it'll get rid of my wrinkles on my hands. Um, I don't think I it's that hand- as much as it is like um, f- filling yeah. the pores. But maybe we could do that and then I can get my palms red. That would be really... Oh, we can change the description of your palm. Yeah, we can change my desk. Um, I'm going to take my leg off because I feel like it's like heavy. It's fine, but you can take it off. I'm like a strong boy. I've got <laughs> strong thighs and calves. Um, well, so- I get to put my leg on you. You can if you want. No, I have wet pants. Um, so we went to this movie theater. It was a cute theater, but it was fucking empty, and also it wasn't regular seats. Okay. It's couches. No, <laughs> it was couches, and we thought we saw the real killer. Like I really, oh, th- yeah, the, killer, the real killer, the killer was, was in the theater in with the us. In the theater with us, he was in the theater with us. The killer was, and he like sat. Okay, so the movie finished, and like he sat all the way through the credits, like we were watching a Marvel movie, and he he sat there like. I, the stillest Still I've fuck. ever seen. The like, whole literally movie, like he was this. in the same position. And he did not move his face <laughs> at all. Like, he sat as still as this. 
<laughs> also, like, to, like, give, like, more context, it's, like, little couches, and he had the whole couch to himself, so he could have, like, sprawled out and got comfy and, like, like leaned back a little bit, but he stood that still the whole time. And I looked at him multiple times through the movie, and there wasn't a glimpse of expression. I, no, I kept looking at him because I was like, is this motherfucker crying? Like, everyone is crying. Like, you have to be <laughs> crying. And he literally had nothing on his face it literally looked like he was wearing a mask it was literally so scary it was so scary and the reason we even stayed after credits is because the movie was like so good i wanted to do a stupid thing where like i filmed a bunch of clips of me like crying Crawling and being and like annoying and like dying and passing away in the theater so we stayed for a minute and i was like he's gonna get up soon yeah and like we like sat a normal there. fucking poor person would <laughs> And we sat there and he didn't move. And then it was like the credits were like done. Like they were showing the logos of the production companies yeah. already. And, and we the lights like, had already come on. Like yeah, so he was <laughs> literally just sitting in like a bright ass movie theater, <laughs> like staring at the credits. But that's the craziest part is like this isn't even the real killer. Yeah, like, this isn't the this killer, is the, the killer, main killer of the story. But he's not the killer. So then... We leave, like, we. I go to the bathroom and me and Drew are, like, just talking about the movie. I'm, like, wiping my fucking puffy-ass cry face. And we're, like, walking down. The theater's empty and... We should have walked back in and see if the killer I know. Was I'm assuming there. the killer was in there yeah. because we went to the parking lot. And also to preface, before we got in the theater, this car was there downstairs on. with the lights on. Like, the whole car was on. Yeah. And we looked in and no one was in it. And it was, like, an old-ass, like no branded car like i couldn't see like it wasn't like it looked like a toyota camry but there was no logos on it, it at all it really felt like a <laughs> test like it felt like a test by like saw like jigsaw yeah and it was like if you touch the door handle like a pig a person in a pig mask is gonna come out and like chlorophyll you and kill you <laughs> and like and, and nobody was in the car <laughs> and chlorophyll you <laughs> yeah <laughs> chlorophyll me up damn so then we go back downstairs to my to the parking lot to go to my car and there's no other cars in the parking lot other than my car and this fucking killer car. Yeah. And me and Jared talking and we're walking. Talking. Yeah, we're talking and walking. And sorry. Like, I... dude, both of us go deathly silent, but we keep walking. And both and we're of both us staring at the car and we're like, oh, this is I'm getting chilled. Like I'm we really no, chill. and like Kai, I'm not kidding. I'm we chill. weren't saying anything to each other. Like we both stopped dead in our I'm tracks really from talking. And we were just like walking past the car. And both of us, like, we weren't saying anything to each other. We started speeding up past the car because, and then we just ran to my car and yeah. actually started screaming and got in my car and, like, Whipped was the piss freaking out of the fuck out. It's because what we saw, we both saw it and neither of us said it to each other because we're like, that was actually insane. Like, that had to and have been my fucking eyes. Yeah, like, you're <laughs> take, that's something you take to the grave because if you say it out loud, you're literally a psychopath and you need to be locked away. But, like, we both saw it. it we were looking in the window in the driver's seat of this car because we were like, oh, like, they have to be in there now, right? Yeah, because the car was still on. Yeah, and we look in and there's, like, this really old man sitting in the car like hit like a giant head of this yeah old it's like man a huge head sitting in this car <laughs> in the driver's seat and then like as you walk closer it morphed into like a young person's head and then me and Andy looked at each other and we were like did you see that and then and I, both of us immediately we, knew what we, we saw and, and then we when we were running we both looked back because we were like that had to have been a reflection of a poster. Yeah. And there was nothing. There, was there wasn't nothing. A, there was nothing. And it, we both saw this. It was so both fucking saw scary. the same shit. We swear, swear on we my both, mother's fucking we earth. We described it to each other at, like, the, same at time. the exact same time. It was the most ominous shit oh, ever. Fuck. And then when when we got into the parking gar garage before, like when we parked, I was like, why is this the quietest parking garage yeah, ever? Yeah, it was like deathly like, and then, quiet. And, but it was full. And like, right <laughs> after we saw it, and like we both, like what triggered our running, is like we both saw it we were silent and we were like did you see that and, and then a bird flew <laughs> in the garage and we we both screamed and i was like actually like on the verge of yeah. tears it was so fucking no i scary. actually i was like i'm I, i'm dying in this parking lot yeah i was like, like there's someone in the back of this die. car did you look in the back of the yes, car i was and, like and i looked in the so car crazy. hella hard because i was like there has to be a person in yeah, there and yeah. there wasn't a person in there no in our car like i looked oh. in the, i was like there's a person in our car no i wait, just wait. looked around you oh not in your car but there was a person in that. no there wasn't a person no, there in was the car no? we had looked in there was no person and we both saw this what? fucking figure shift 
It was the most. And like, it was like as we got close, and that's why I thought it had to have been a poster because as we got closer, it morphed. So like, yeah. it literally that like so morphed crazy. into like a younger dude. It was so weird. And then, yeah, we looked and we looked all over the garage and like there were, there was literally nothing but soundproofing on the ceiling and like that was it. Yeah, it was it's so not like weird. It, there was no posters. There and was the no car nothing. was still on. Yeah. What the fuck? And I, we didn't see the killer. You know, again. if you guys had killer. invited me, there would have been a third person to like confirm this. So are you like? Yeah, are you saying right. you don't believe us? No, I'm he's saying, saying he wanted you. to be invited. Um, and we did invite you. We did invite you. Oh fuck! Okay. And you were busy. Never mind. Never mind. Forget that I said that. You're a freak. You were busy. That is so fucking. Crazy. No, it, no, it, it was, was actually, actually fucking insane. Um, like, and when I was retelling it, I got chills again. Like, I've never had an experience like that in my life. I'm so, like, not a believer of paranormal activity at all. But that shit freaked me out. That, when you guys were describing it, that entire thing, I felt the same feeling that I got when I saw the trailer for uh, Under the Skin the first time. Oh, word. Yeah. Yeah, like, like the, the alien, like, weird, just like... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Dude, it felt so... It it really... It genuinely felt, like, otherworldly. I've never, no, like, and, and like... It, it was it, so... Fu- it, it was the most... Like, I said it when I got out of the car. I was like, why is this the most silent space I've ever been in in my entire life? Like, there were no sounds. Like, there wasn't even ringing in my ears. Like, it was literally, like, a liminal space almost. And I want to go back to the garage... So no, could, I do want to go back because also what's weird is as I think about it, like that night was so good though. Yeah. Like even post that, like I felt really good. Yeah. Like th- going into the theater, Whoa. I felt good. Like I, it felt awesome. But that was like genuinely like, I was like scared. When I was like unlocking my car, I literally was like, I need to get in my car and lock the door I was like, my ankles fast. are going to be slashed. Like there's going to be a ghost that like kills me. Like it really was like, like pure fear. You know what's also weird is the, the reflection thing was in black and white. Like yes, it, it oh my god, fully, I literally forgot that we forgot to say in that. Black and white, and it wasn't in color. Like the, the the reflect the like guy in it was just like it it was fully black. It was like gray and white. I could literally like it's so vivid in my head still that I could like draw it. Like I, know. I could like I don't know. It, and like it it was almost like an Aphex twin, like like old like Aphex twins like take like, on like an old Aphex person. twin, like Rick Rubin looking motherfucker yeah. for the first old guy. Yeah. Um, so crazy well not no i was saying like an apex twin character like someone in his universe like a chris cunningham like music video yeah um but yeah it was very like scary um yeah that was an alien for sure that's what it felt like i'm not kidding that is what it felt like it didn't feel like a ghostly like presence it literally felt like in like an otherworldly presence and it was do you believe in aliens now uh no because i don't foresee that happening to me ever again well elon musk um is starting human trials on the Neuralink. <laughs> Even though all the monkeys died. <laughs> yeah, and I don't give a fuck. Um and I want it. Elon. That that could I'm be literally another... there are literally hundreds of thousands of people who would back you if I got brain damage from this thing. <laughs> like they would say, Oh, he wanted it. Like he really wanted it. Like I'm saying it out loud, like please give it to me. <laughs> like I'm actually begging. I wouldn't let you. Why? Because my life is too intertwined with you. If I lost you, it would like fuck up my whole life. So that all I am is a work. I did I say work, Kai? No, she didn't. She insinuated. No, you twisted her words. Yeah, I said my life is intertwined with you. She yours. just expressed like a deep sentiment of love to you, and then you twisted it. Because you think it's about money. Well, you can't trust anybody. Says who? Me. I can't trust anybody. My hands are so fucking sweaty. Your balls are sweaty. We need to get you some. Um, they are sweaty. Oh, you know, What? Um, this is the other thing I was gonna say. The worst thing you can do on Instagram, if I've been following you for five plus years, is post <laughs> on Instagram. Cause it, don't let me catch you at the top of my fucking timeline. I am unfollowing you, and <laughs> it's and it's not me trying to be mean. Like, I'm unfollowing you. Like, don't. If I see you on my timeline, and it's bringing back memories, I'm unfollowing. Yeah, I do not need that. Like, I don't need to be like, oh my God, I like, how, I don't need to be like, how do I know this person? Like, I, I don't want to think about it. You know what I'm about They're to do? Unfollowed. I'm about to unfollow literally everybody so I can like unfollow like a few people that I don't want to be following anymore. And instead of just like making it very targeted, I'm like, oh, I just forgot to follow you back and just never follow them back. 
I can be your friend and not follow you. Exactly. I can be your friend and not care about what you see, what I see on your, like what you post. On I your can Instagram. be your friend and think your photos are really fucking ugly <laughs> and just not want to follow you. No, I actually do not give a fuck about like my following. I don't even go through like the homepage anymore. Like I genuinely like just like scroll on my Explorer page and watch like monkeys eat fucking pomegranates and the, bread the thing is i keep up with like maybe 15 people and then everybody else like i never see and that's why when i see them i'm like oh like i'm not even looking at your stuff yep sorry sorry about that we gotta sorry bring back that. casual instagram guys yeah casual photo dumps we need we need to bring back casualty instagram in theory like i would like to actually just post i think i've gotten better at that though i literally just like look at something and i'm like i'm gonna post this and then i just post but i i think i'm gonna like start hella posting yeah like i foresee that being the next thing is just like over posting like i want to treat ig like a blog like blog style slay yeah why don't you start I want to treat you like my blog and just blog. like put myself all over you. I'm I I'm I've begged you for months for that. Yeah, I like when you beg, but I'm not going to actually give it to you. How's that feel? Bitch. You just call me a bitch. And you're laughing about it? Oh, no, I wasn't Six. laughing. Don't fucking do it. You do will it. never see the light of day again. I, do it. I can't drive. I literally can't. I'm fucking bitch. You Saying you will never see the bitch. light of day again is such a deeply like dark sentiment. <laughs> I'm going to put you in a cellar. You and will lock never you away. see the sun again. It's pretty scary. I can do that to both of you. Is that Has not your insane? butthole seen the sun before? <laughs> yeah. Actually? Yeah. Really? Or no, I guess it's seen your, the moon. Your butthole? Yeah. 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 Yeah, because it's like you would have to, you would know if it has. Because even if you're outside naked, you have to, bend you'd have to spread. spread. Yeah, you have to spread your cheeks. I think that's something that I need to do soon. Yeah, I do. Oh, I want to be naked like in nature so bad. I've been naked outdoors at night, not in the day. Yeah. I got naked outside a couple times in high school. Um, Because you're a slut? Yeah. Yeah, that's why I said I'm that. hella ran through. <laughs> Literally in the nature center. Are you kidding me? No. You're going to hell. Twice. And I'm stitching on you. Different people. Slut! <laughs> we need to bring back slut shaming. We need to bring back bullying. <laughs> we need to bring back homophobia. Patriotism. <laughs> I'm kidding. We've made a lot of progress at this podcast. We've done a lot for society. <laughs> we literally have done so here, much. Here at Emergency Intercom, we've done a lot for the progression of society. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god if anything no we have i genu- modeled the waters <laughs> i genuinely believe we've like calmed some people down yeah because i i do like although it i talk about this a lot like it's needed like it was just the grand swing of things oh sorry the pendulum just needed to reset itself yeah like it, it did need to swing very like far I don't want to say left because it's like that's I hate using like a political term for it, but it do, it did need to swing super high where like there okay it was there very ne- clear like there was no of room needed yeah there was no room to be like poking fun at these things because not enough change was made and now I think we're kind of coming to a spot of course a lot of change still needs to be made but I think we're coming to a point where it's like okay like you can like say these let's things and you know it's you know it's a let's joke let's have some you fun. know i'm fucking joking you fucking bitch oh let's God. have some fun <laughs> <laughs> don't touch my fucking don't touch my fucking wife's name out your fucking mouth that is my vibe though <laughs> and Keep i'll leave my it wife's name out your fucking mouth i would slap someone for you i would slap the shit out of someone for but you. i will say not on public television no no <laughs> no <laughs> uh, i know because i would also cr- i would i would break down i would slap the shit out of someone for a stranger and you saw it you're fucking annoying <laughs> <laughs> we don't have to get into it but let's just say i'm a good person Oh, well, a good person doesn't have to speak on the good things they do. They just let I those never actions spoke speak. on it. I never spoke on it. <laughs> Barely spoke on it. I know. He was really good about it. Like, he yeah. just kind of hinted at it. <laughs> Can you hand me my Cheetos? Oh, my God. You're not going to be hungry for dinner. I have a cold and I can't go to dinner. You have a cold heart. That's what you have. 
Should we pop on the media? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 53 minutes, right on time. I almost said something so nasty. I'm in heat. I'm literally she in is. heat. She is. She is. I'm in heat. I need to fuck. I need to fuck. It's been like this for eight months. She I'm always heat. in heat. It's like actually a problem. I'm never not horny. Um, But we don't have to get into it. <laughs> I'm literally salivating at the idea of cock right now. My, I'm sorry. I wrote... Oh, I, I say this every episode. <laughs> but my life has been too normal and good recently. <laughs> oh, my God. Expect something horrible to drop soon. I don't know what. Oh. Something big is coming. Look, I'm genuinely thinking, like... Okay, my media of the week... Life has been way too solid. Like, I, like, really have, like... Very little to complain about, which like is a fucking vibe. But I'm like, the pendulum always has to swing. What's coming? Okay, that's good. Um, my media of the week is "Peace" by Dave. <laughs> I thought. <laughs> what? I didn't know where that sound was coming from, and it freaked me out. No, you're about to get mad at me. I was. You should um, be mad at yourself. My media of the week is piece by Dave Bigsby. I'm going to fucking hit you in the neck. <laughs> Healing part one by Todd Rund- Rundgren. <laughs> um, Bury me next to you by Bilal. And your mom is a slut. Oh, my God. I was supposed to say that. What was that um, last one? Oh, we can't shit talk to her. And then talk to her. I think I ever said that movie. Fuck you, <laughs> motherfucker. My media is Space Moth by Stereo Lab. You are smacking the fuck out of your mouth right now. Like, it is awful, and I'm going to fucking hit you. In God's childlike hands, Lauren Under. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm going to actually hurt you. Finish what you're saying before you eat with your mouth open, okay? Parasite by Nick Drake. This is showing how much you care about your viewers right now, and it's very low. About my what? About your viewers. This is what gets the views, baby. <laughs> Should I do the meme section? No! Let's toy with the idea where we play with memes. Where we play with my member. Should okay. I play with my member right now? So the memes My of the member week... needs touching. <laughs> now. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> this week's meme one of three is this. Yeah, you, it has to be memes that I haven't seen so we can get a reaction. Yeah. Out of it. Um... And then when I don't laugh, it's going to be embarrassing. Here's a really good one. Um, You've already seen all these. (laughs) This is just a classic. (laughs) Some of y'all should live here, not naming names. We need to visit this street because I need a photo with it. Where is it? New York? No, there's a street here called Gay Street. And we need to go. I got destroyed on your meme account. Do what? I got destroyed. Oh, yeah. On the tag, someone... That's the one I showed. On the tag, someone gay to out them. All of the comments were about Kai. And it was people that don't even know Kai that were commenting. (laughs) Celebrities, of course. (laughs) And then... We'll stick with the theme. (laughs) Just another classic. Like, swaggers for boy, men is for men. You're for men. Oh, yeah. Yo, are the memes of the I'm week. I'm so sweaty. Dude, I actually sweat from one armpit only when I'm not hot, but I'm like vocally and active. I, when I'm active with my mouth. That's real. I need to get active with nipples my mouth scare, immediately. Nipples scare the fuck out of me. Nipples? Uh, I, oh, they're so weird. Like genuinely, they're so weird. I'd like to put some nipples in my mouth. Of course. Soon. Sooner than later. But yeah, they scare the fuck out of me. And also they... I can relate to this. They feel weird. What? When you people touch nipples? them. Oh, yeah. I have really sensitive nipples. <laughs> like, some things are meant to be kept private, Kai. <laughs> yeah. As soon as I said it, I was just like, I wish I could take that back. <laughs> My shit is blowing up. <laughs> you are. All right. Thank you guys so much for listening to this episode. Um, it was a rocky start, but we got here in the end. Was it really rocky? 
No, I wasn't. I just wanted to say that. It's because I spoke for more time. No, it's because you went on a rant about being sexy. And I don't like and that. Everybody you shouldn't feel wants confident. To hear it. I don't want you to have confidence. All right. <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs>